Hi everyone, Brad Walker here again. Uh, for this instant stretch tutorial, we're going to look at creating a routine. Now, in previous tutorials, uh, I went through the setup preferences and how to add a client to your software. Now, you need to complete both of these before you can start creating a routine. So if you haven't already had a look at those tutorials, make sure you go back and have a look at them. Uh, make sure you set up your software with all your you know, contact details and company logo and so forth and add at least one client to the software. So once you've done that, you're ready to create a routine. Um, and to do that, you simply just click on the create a new routine option. You'll get this screen here um, and this is where you will put in all the parameters for creating the routine that you want. So the first thing you need to do is just choose who the routine is for. Um, all your clients will be displayed here. Just find the client that you want the routine for. Click on that. Um, the next thing is you need to give the routine a name. Uh, this just helps you identify the routine later if you want to save it. Um, it'll also um, be the the name for the PDF that's created for the routine as well. So. Um, I'm just going to stick with this one here, hamstring routine. I um, did this before, so uh, I'm just going to stick with a basic hamstring routine. Uh, in this area here, you can add some uh, additional comments or instructions uh, for the client uh, specific to the routine that you're creating. So if it's a hamstring routine, you may want the client to, um, you know, maybe you've worked with the client, you've identified that uh, their right hamstring is a little tighter than their left hamstring. So you may want to make a note of that and uh, tell the client to spend a little bit more time on that tighter hamstring than the other one. Uh, the next option is to choose a fitness level. Um, you've got three options here, basic, intermediate and advanced. Um, and this is based on the client that the routine is for. So your basic stretches um, are very simple stretches. Uh, they're quite safe and suitable for, for just about anyone. Uh, your intermediate and advanced stretches are a little more technical, a little more challenging. Uh, so depending on the client you're working with, um, will depend on what fitness level you choose there. If you're working with uh, an athlete, some uh, you know a high level athlete, then it's safe to choose uh, those advanced stretches. Um, if you're working with someone who's fairly sedentary, then it's better off just to stick with the basic ones. So I'll just stick with the basic ones to start with. Um, your next option is to choose the type of routine that you want. Now there's a few different options here and I'm just gonna show you um, one to start with. We're gonna do a hamstring um, routine. So we'll stick with that for now and I'll come back in a minute and show you all the other different options. So major muscle group routine, we choose that one. We can see here we've got hamstrings listed. So we just click on hamstrings. Now I'm just gonna keep this fairly simple. We're just gonna choose three stretches. You can choose up to eight stretches to include in your routine. Uh, when you're done and you've filled everything out, simply click the create routine button and here you go so you'll get a number of different stretches that are for the for the hamstrings so you'll see here the primary muscle group here is the hamstrings uh, these next two the secondary muscle group is for the hamstrings now the software just randomly picks stretches that are either primary or secondary muscle group related to hamstrings um, if you're happy with that the way it is, you can just go ahead and print it out by generating a PDF. Uh, you can save the routine for later um, if you want to come back and use the routine again. Or if you're not happy with the routine, you can use the edit routine option. And you just simply click on that and you'll come to this uh, page here. Now on this page here, if you're not happy with one of the stretches, you can just go ahead and delete it. Um, and you also have the option of adding other stretches in. So um, maybe there's another hamstring stretch here that you prefer, um, this standing toe up hamstring stretch, so you can add that one. Uh, maybe you want to add another one. Uh, what do we got here? Um, this one here, so you can add that one there. Now once you've got the stretches that you want, you can rearrange them into any order, order that you want. So if you want this one to be the second one, you can just move it around into the second position. 
Um, the other option down here is this is your stretches. So um, this option up here is for all the default stretches. So there's 135 stretches to choose from. This option will show up any stretches that you've added. And I just added one previously, um, which I'll do another tutorial on to show you how to do that. Uh, but you can add your own stretches to the routine as well. Um, so once you're happy with it, and you're happy with the order that the stretches are in, you can just go ahead and hit select. And there you go, so that, uh, that stretch, those couple of stretches that we added have been included in the routine. Um, like I said before, when you're happy with it, you can save the routine. You don't have to save it if you don't want, um, but if you plan on using it again, um, it's a good idea to save it. When you're happy with it, hit generate PDF and the software will go ahead and generate a PDF for you. Um, you can click on that PDF and uh, so here it is. So you'll see your company logos in the top left corner, your company contact details are over here. Uh, we've got some general information for the client uh, in this area here, just like how to do a stretch uh, safely, um, some safety precautions, that sort of stuff. Any additional comments or notes that you had for the client or the routine, they'll show up here. Uh, and then down here, we've got the actual routine itself. So we've got a nice large photograph of the stretch. Uh, we've got a description of how, does, how to perform the stretch, uh, plus a, a title or a name for the stretch and what muscle group it's actually focusing on, um, on uh, each stretch. So that's the routine from here. You can just go ahead and print that out if you wanted to and give that to your client. Um, or you could go and attach it to an email and send it to your client as a email attachment. So that's how to create a, ru uh, um, a routine. I'm gonna go back now and just show you some of the other options that are available to you um, for creating uh, different types of routines. Um, so that was a major muscle group that we used. And as you saw before, you can choose from a whole range of different muscle groups. Uh, but some of the other options that are available to you, you can choose a sport specific routine. And that'll bring up a list of uh, sports from you to choose from. So everything from archery, basketball, netball, boxing, cycling, golf, uh, a whole range of different sports there that, um, that cover just about every sport that you can think of. Um, so that's, that's one option that you have available to you. Uh, another option is an anatomical muscle routine. Now this allows you to get really, really specific on the individual muscle that you want to create a routine for. So say you're working with a client and they have a rotator cuff injury that they've, uh, that they've been recovering from and you want to start introducing some stretches for their rotator cuff as part of their recovery. So you can go into here and you can pick uh, something like infraspinatus um, or supraspinatus. So these are all in alphabetical order. So here's supraspinatus, um, subscapularis, uh, where is subscapularis? Right there. Um, so you, know, you can get right down to the individual muscle that you want to create a routine for. So let's look at something like um, um, uh, supraspinatus. Um, so we just choose supraspinatus. Now, there probably won't be eight stretches in the software for, for supraspinatus. So if you choose eight, the software will just pick as many supraspinatus uh, stretches that are available for a basic uh, fitness level. Um, click on that. And there you go. So the software is located three stretches that are specifically for um, uh, supraspinatus. Um, and again, you can generate a PDF, save the routine, whatever you want to do. Um, so that's really handy if you you know really want to get down to fine tuning a routine for someone. Um, next option is a sports injury routine. And if you click on that, it'll bring up a whole list of sports injuries, uh, neck sprain, carpal tunnel, elbow sprain, chest sprain, rotator cuff, um, piriformis syndrome, hamstring strain, calf strain. You'll notice that these are all uh, listed from um, head to toe, basically. So start with, with neck, um, work arms, shoulders, chest, uh, then we work down to stomach, hips, 
upper leg, lower leg, um, calf, Achilles, ankle, foot, and so forth. So you can pick whatever sports injury you want and the software will generate a routine for that injury. Now the last option there, we've already had a look at major muscle group, but the last option is custom design. And if you click on that, it won't matter how many stretches uh, you choose here for custom design, because what will happen on the next screen is you will be able to choose whatever stretch you want to put in the routine. And again, this is a, another great opportunity for you to be able to choose the stretches um, that you want your client to do. Um, so you just go ahead and choose whatever stretches you want. Uh, let's just choose, what's that, four or five stretches, hit select. And then all those stretches are listed in your routine. And you've got the same options as before. You can edit the routine, you can reorder the stretches, you can delete a stretch, add a different one and so forth. Save it if you want to, or go ahead and generate the PDF for that routine. Um, so that's all the options for the create a routine section of the software. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different options to choose from, a lot of different ways to customize the routine to make it um, very specific to the client you're working, you know, um, you're working with. So there's a lot of different options there. Uh, so thanks again for watching the tutorial and um, I'll see you in a future tutorial. Okay, bye for now.